Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU, and today I have a demo or sort of an advanced tutorial for jailbreakers on iOS 13 through 13.5, or heck, even 13.5.5 beta one, if you happen to be jailbroken running that release. That is essentially going to change the way that you re-sign your uncovered jailbreak application post jailbreak. With an upcoming update to Alt Store, you'll be able to do it without the assistance of a computer. Yeah, that's right. You can use Alt Store in the future to refresh your certificates without a computer. It's going to replace reprovision, and for a number of reasons, it vastly outpaces and outperforms reprovision. Most notably, the sense that now, currently with iOS 13.5, you simply cannot use it to install fresh. IPAs or sideload them on device, no computer. Previously in lower firmwares, namely iOS 13.3, you could. Now that's no longer an option with reprovision. You can do it with the upcoming update to alt store, however. And also reprovision only includes support for signing two applications in the background. Alt Store has more. So if you guys want to follow along exactly with what I'm showing you in today's video, which is really more of a demo than a tutorial anyways, then you can actually donate to the developer of both Alt Store slash Alt Server and Delta. His name's Riley. He's really just an awesome dude in general. I'll include a link to his Patreon down below in the description. But anyways, if you're watching this at a later point in the future, the easiest and most efficient way to get the latest version of Alt Store on your device is simply simply to just delete it if you already have it or if you're a brand new jailbreaker to just follow my jailbreak tutorial and either way you'll be following the steps in that video anyway so it's linked in your cards now as well as down below in the description and once you have that installed on your device and on cover also and you're fully jailbroken you really only just need one thing from Cydia to get the on device signing method for alt store working just open Cydia go to the search tab and search for files that chances are a lot of you probably already have this anyway we talk about it a lot on the channel. Just search for F-I-L-Z and it should come up files of file manager. You just tap on install followed by confirm. And then after you do that, what I want you guys to do is just open up Alt Store. Again, remember your version of Alt Store is not going to be the same as this beta release I'm demoing right now, unless you are also a contributor to Riley. And then go to the settings tab, and then you're going to tap on install Alt Daemon. Now, what this is going to do is just bring up this little share sheet here, and you're going to just tap right where it says copy to files it. Now, if you don't see this in your sharing options, what you can do is just swipe over on the second row right here, and then tap on more. And you should see files that available. You just tap on edit and you could add it and then drag it to whichever position you wanted. But mine's already there. So all I have to do is just hit copy to files and then it's going to bring me over here to files and then you just tap on it right here. You can see it says alt daemon dot deb tap it tap on install in the upper right hand corner. Now it's installed and now you can just tap on respring and it's going to restart your device's springboard. And this will also add a new package to Cydia as well, just alt daemon and it's installed locally. It's not from Cydia. You cannot get it on Cydia right now and any sort of repos or anything that has it currently, I don't recommend using because it's not from the official source. It's not supporting Riley and it's not out for public release just yet. So definitely avoid it until it is but at any rate now it's installed on our device and I'm going to show you guys something really cool first I want to delete Delta just so I can prove my point let's delete it and then delete again and we can disconnect this from the dock so it's not plugged into the computer anymore and I'm also going to take it a step further we're going to toggle off Wi-Fi here whoops we're going to toggle off Wi-Fi right there and now we are just connected to LTE as you can see in the upper right hand corner and what we're going to do is launch alt store again and now we can go to my apps and I'm first going to refresh it you can see it says that it expires in six days so I'm going to tap on refresh all and this is going to actually re-sign the application without being connected with 
without being connected to Wi-Fi, it's so awesome. And when I said without being connected the first time, I meant without being connected to a computer. Um, I just got so caught up because this is so cool. And like I said, it's definitely going to revolutionize the way that we re-sign our jailbreak applications or heck, even any sideloaded application. Because let's go to the main section here to browse and I'm going to tap on Delta and we're going to get this thing installed on our device. First of all, download it and then installed and signed without any of that, without a computer, without alt server on our computer. It's mimicking what alt server would do on your device. Basically, it just allows alt store to install and refresh apps again without a computer. Now, I want to show one last concept that makes this so very cool and vastly superior to reprovision currently because reprovision used to be able to do this, but again, it can't currently. As I stated earlier in this video, I'm going to show you guys how you will be able to sideload IPAs on your device without a computer. You can see I've taken the liberty of already disconnecting the iPhone from this dock. I'm just using it to keep it centered and to keep it held in this video. But let's go ahead and delete Uncover. And while we are going to be focused on signing the Uncover IPA in this video, it can literally be any IPA. So it can be any application that you download from Safari. And this is an example of how that would be done once this is out. So you basically just want to download the IPA. So I'm tapping on download. Download. It's going to add it to my downloads to the right of the URL field there and we can just go ahead and tap it tap the share sheet and like before if you don't have the option to copy to alt store you can tap on more and you can add it so let's tap on copy to alt store and it's just going to sign it remember we're not connected to the computer we're not connected to Wi-Fi we're still on LTE so it's already downloaded the IPA and it's signing it in just a few seconds honestly it's less than a minute it's literally real time that I'm showing and recording this for you guys so let's go ahead and open it up and as you can see it works it's flawless it's amazing in its current state and the procedure that I literally just showed you guys is how easy it's going to be to update the version of uncover that you have on your device when new iterations are released by pwn to own a few things to note is that this will not work when you power your device off and power it up and it's out of its jailbroken state state, alt daemon needs to be in your device's jailbroken state to work. Also, background refreshes do still work with alt store with alt daemon, so you don't need a computer for that background refresh either. It just vastly depends on how often you open alt store and a number of other varying factors, including background app refresh, but at any rate, it will re-sign your applications in the background, so as long as you're in your jailbroken state and you open up Alt Store, I'd say even once a day, you'd be fine. You don't even have to be in your jailbroken state every single day of the week because it's just going to do this in the background as it sees fit and as it adapts to it. But at any rate, guys, that is everything for today's video. Probably an updated tutorial for this will come once it is released, but you can follow along if you happen to be a Patreon of Riley's. And uh, yeah. That's it for now, guys. Subscribe for more if you have yet to. And of course, I'll keep you guys in the loop for everything related to jailbreaking. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys 50 free tweaks that you can install right after jailbreaking. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into things. You can unlock your device without even having to touch the screen with Auto Unlock X. Uh, you can add a custom grid layout to your lock screen. Let me go ahead and place my phone down. Check this out. I have a three by seven layout. Uh, if I just pull down, I think it's from the top left. There we go. Uh, this is where you can adjust all of the settings with Home Plus Beta. Uh, another thing that I see people do right after jailbreaking is adding this music visualizer tweak to the home screen. So check that out when music is playing. You have a nice visualizer right there on the lock screen. And we have this new lock screen clock widget right here. This is with a tweak called April. Super cool. Another awesome music one on the lock screen is called Sylph. It basically shrinks down this music widget and makes it look a little bit cleaner on the lock screen.
you know, let's not forget the basics going back to the home screen real fast on the iPhone 11. They can now have the battery percentage up in the top right in the status bar. Instead of the battery icon, that's done with digital battery 13. Just simple quality of life tweaks. If I'm in the multitasking pane, I can click this clear button right there to clear out all of my apps. Right now I have it so it won't uh, clear out of the now playing app, but you can change that. You can have custom home screen animations with cylinder. Uh, so one thing that's really cool too is you can create custom light and dark mode backgrounds with DynaWall light. So right now I'm in dark mode, but if I get out of that, I have an entirely different wallpaper in light mode. And that's with DynaWall light.